Hi everyone, my name is Arun. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, Stibo Master Data Dictionary. Master Data Dictionary means first of all we need to understand master data. So for a detailed video already done uh, one of the video my previous videos. So I request you to please watch uh, to understand what is PIM, what is master data. The master data is is a critical business data. For example, products, customer, uh, uh, suppliers, us, all these are the master data. So master data is a mostly static and the uh, changes are minimal. So which helps on the drive the business uh, for a crit crit for uh, to for a <coughs> driving the business uh, in a <coughs> proper shape process technology and managing all this data in a centralized repository and managing proper process that it is can be possible by master data management tool called Stibo. For most of the projects uh, the systems migrating the old the systems which is decommissioned has to migrate into the new system called Stibo. So most of the projects are like. So what we need to understand is so here this master data dictionary in the sense to building the building the blocks for to create uh, attributes, workflows, hierarchies, classifications for all these to help to create the Stibo at workspace. So these are the building blocks. So means like you need to define the attributes. So in order to define the attributes, you need the data for what attributes is already there in the system or what attributes you are going to use this in a stable system. So uh, if the already you have the old system you are go going to migrate. So you need to understand what is the data about the old system. What it's a, it's a character or a number or how many decimals, uh, if it's LOV. So all you need to capture all the information into here so that when you are creating it in a Stibo, so it, this, this is the unique document, is the only source of document to create all the attributes which is you are going to create in a Stibo. So here is a sample sheet, so which is um, like see uh, module. <coughs> so here is attribute star. So it's in store digital property. So you, you have to mention here and difference map the reference here. Okay, and uh, what is the functional MDD name? Is article number article article number or type of article article type? It means article in the sense the type of product. So this is applicable for a step, a step or not. So, so this all the information you need to capture from the business. So what's the source source ID of the in a source? Uh, my source is SAP system here. So what's the source? Yeah, you need to add here what is the table name column name so everything you add here so that the similar names can be used here because you need to interact with the internal system external systems like uh, the, some third party systems are there so this if you the same name has to use in the yeah, current system as well so that the changes are minimal when you are interacting with the, any third party through uh, middle width. Name attribute name here. So what's the attribute name here? Category is the object a list value or so uh, if it is attribute attribute or list of value list of values in the sense drop down and it's a, a key value map together as a values and it's a okay, drop down
and when after you just you are going to uh, when you are ready so all this data so you can create you can start creating attributes in stbo so but like what is a step id so you can define here we can add it here so the step id is like a slow work case without any space any other extra character here so it's a simple as a single word name and provide any help text or anything or anything we is pending or anything you are going to discuss anything so you, you can define it so so like uh, it will help basically like uh, which attributes you going to create for which sprint so so sprint will be like a two weeks or so those two weeks like which attributes you are going to create which attributes you are going to implement in a sprint so that it will have a clarity so you can add the sprint what which which sprint you're going these attributes are going so you can define everything here so, so when you are defining it is a single source it has to be single source that has to capture everything from the business so rule so you can define the rule it's a business rule and uh, it's, it's, uh, the text uh, text area is uh, some limited to 50 characters so you need to define your business rule uh, but the business rule oh, the only language here here is a javascript so you need to write all the business rules you have in a javascript only here so it's all like self explanatory step definition mandatory is a mandatory uh, item so here is a pr uh, product uh, primary product hierarchy no level uh, in my case it's a level 1 level 2 level 3 here so it depends it's a product to product and it is so which is applicable which is not applicable you can define here so fractional MDD uh, for uh, different types of article if it is say yes 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 like uh, so you need to mention the high yes here if it is not applicable so just no this is just a sample sheet it can be added in more any more classifications more hierarchies here to create article create article workflow visibility so is applicable for create article so so that you can tick that so there is a checkbox available when you're creating a attributes so that you can take that so so it will be created as per the sheet so this is a attribute sheet so you can define attribute group and so you can group together all the list of attributes so like us attributes uk attributes or uh, retail attributes banking attributes so you can define the attribute group it, and it would group mapping mapping should be here like list of values list of values here uh, <coughs> uh, like a key value mapping here which is just like a drop down it's a country hierarchy so all you need to it's not limited to these uh, tabs so you can add more or delete whatever tabs which is required as for the business primary product hierarchy filtering so all you need to define here brand hierarchy SAP article hierarchy so all you need to define the, all the hierarchies here so that it will be easy for you like when you are referring is so on creating attributes it will be help you for uh, um, creating attributes uh, hope you like this video uh, if you really like it Please like, share, comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time on watching.